Hello everyone, I am Mayur Gohil. This is my second video lecture on recurrence relation. Uh, in this video lecture, I shall be solving recurrence relation by iteration method. For this, the working rule will be method is based on backward substitution and observation of the pattern in the problem. So, I will just put a red star so that you don't forget. It's That would be our working rule. Okay nothing great about it but that's what i am giving it you from my side now uh, let us take up an example to solve this iteration method uh, using the iteration method so this is our recurrence relation a n is equals to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1 where n is greater or equal to 2 and a 1 is equal to 3 this a1 equal to 3, it means it is the initial condition. Okay. So, now let us consider the recurrence relation. What you do is, in this given recurrence relation, you replace n by n minus 1. Okay. What you obtain is a n minus 1 on the LHS and what happens to the RHS is 2 times a n minus 2 plus 1 because you just replace n by n minus 1. So, over here this term will become n minus 1 minus 1 which will give you n minus 2. Okay. Okay. So, this is the play with the suffix that you see. Again, now this newest equation that you got you replace over there n by n minus 1 again. So, what will happen on the LHS, n is replaced by n minus 1. So, you will happen to get a n minus 2. And over here, this n is replaced by n minus 1. So, what you get is a n minus 3. And the other constant terms won't change. Okay, 2 will remain as it is and 1 will also remain as it is. Okay, once more uh, we will write this n will be replaced in the newest equation. The n will be replaced by n minus 1. What you get is a n minus 3 equals to 2 a n minus 4 plus 1. Okay, so this you can go on continuing till what you get is a1 equal to 3. Now, why a1 equal to 3? Because it is the first term in our sequence. Okay. Now, observe that this a n is the nth term in the sequence. This a n minus 1 is the n minus 1th term in the sequence and these so on. So, we are going in the backward direction from the nth term we are going finding n minus 1th term, n minus 2th term, n minus 3rd term and so on up to the first term which is already given to us which we called it as an initial condition. Okay. Now, how to solve this? Okay. So, let us see. Consider this original uh, different uh, sorry original recurrence relation in this a n minus 1 that we found, you replace a n minus 1 by the recurrence relation for it. What is a n minus 1 given as? 2 a n minus 2 plus 1. So, you write that. And then, you multiply this 2 inside the bracket. When you multiply the 2 inside the bracket, it becomes 2 square a n minus 2. And 2 multiplied by 1 gives you 2 and keep the 1 as it is. Okay, now you have a n minus 2. For a n minus 2, you replace it with the recurrence relation that you have got. That is 2 a n minus 3 plus 1. So, what will it happen to give you is this. Okay, once you solve this further, you get 2 cube a n minus 3 plus 2 square plus 2 plus 1. Again, for a n minus 3, you write it as 2 a n minus 4 plus 1 and then multiply the 2 inside the bracket. What you get is 2 to the power 4 a n minus 4 plus 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 plus 1. Okay. If you observe carefully, 
that now some pattern is started to form okay now try to write the pattern if you are able to guess the pattern correctly or ask yourself this thing can you see the pattern in the answer if yes try to write the pattern i mean write the correct pattern if no do the substitution for few more terms that means you write for a n minus 4 a n minus 5 and few more terms okay and again ask the same question after few steps the pattern will surely reveal itself okay so don't worry if you don't get within one or two steps it's okay you can write few more terms you will obviously get the answer now let us go for writing the pattern so this was the final term that we got a n is equals to 2 to the power 4 times a n minus 4 plus 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 plus 1 okay now observe here carefully when the suffix over here is n minus 4 the index over here is 4 so now i put a question in this manner what will happen if the suffix is 1 what should be the index the index should be obviously n minus 1 okay now also observe when there are four uh, when here the index is 4 there are four terms four constant terms after the plus sign okay so if the index become n minus 1 there will be n minus 1 terms over here okay but what will be the index of this term it will be n minus 2 okay so finally the pattern will be in this manner a n equals to 2 to the power n minus 1 into a 1 plus now the bracket i am putting over here 2 to the power n minus 2 plus 2 to the power n minus 3 and so on this all terms will be there okay now that is your pattern if you observe it carefully okay now we need to write a compact form for this bracket because you cannot write all the terms so there we will synchronize it in some format so if you recall this formula that is 1 plus x plus x square so on up to x to the power m is same as 1 minus x to the power m plus 1 divided by 1 minus x it's okay if you have done this in your school level or any other previous classes otherwise you can jot down this as a new formula for yourself okay now apply this just observe the highest power index is m over here in the expansion and the compact form is 1 minus x to the power m plus 1 so what will happen over here the highest index is n minus 2 so when i write it in the compact form it will become 1 minus 2 to the power n minus 2 plus 1 that is the highest index added 1 okay i am adding 1 to this n minus 2 and instead of x over here in this uh, in this addition over here what you see is there is 2 so i am writing 2 over there okay and the remaining term 2 to the power n minus 1 into a1 remains untouched so i am writing it as it is okay now what will happen 1 minus 2 will give me minus 1 and when i solve it further when a1 is equals to 3 what i get is 2 to the power n minus 1 into 3 plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 because there was a minus 1 in the denominator the terms got swapped okay now you solve this further take 2 to the power n minus 1 common you will get 3 plus 1 over here and then minus 1 will be there and then this 3 plus 1 you can write it as 2 square and then you solve it further you get a n is equals to 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 okay and that is our nth term of the sequence and that is what we wanted so finally we have our uh, recurrence relation solved this is the nth term of the sequence and i now i can write any term using these 
uh, using this recurrence relation so this was the very simple example go through it if you have any difficulties you can comment in the comment section okay and uh, so till then we will keep solving good mathematic problem and we will meet in next video lecture with a new problem on the same type so till then keep solving mathematics thank you